Hey, Don Copeland here, and today we're going to print something really cool. This is actually a, a canvas, just a regular old canvas, all right? And what we're going to do on this is we're going to show you how to print a texture. As you can see, the mountains and the trees are all textured, right? Normal color print, and then we have a spot gloss varnish. And I don't know if you can catch that, Hannah, but if you turn this, you can actually see the reflection. It actually looks like real water, and in fact, the reflection here is just amazing. So it obviously helps having a phenomenal photo to start off with. But uh, let's show you how we did this. And uh, well, let's start off, run over to the software. I'm going to show you how we broke up this artwork so that it prints this way. Let's show you here what we did with the, uh, in the software to print this image. This image was actually a uh, PDF file that uh, we created uh, from Photoshop. And what we've done is we've taken, and I'll show you here, the, the raw data for this job. Basically, we have three components going on. We're splitting the head three ways. We have our color layers right there. Turn those off. Now I want to turn these other layers to black so you can see what we have going on. Um, when I show you just the white, you'll see every area that is dark is going to be printed with a white. And the darker it is, the more white there will be. The lighter it is, the less white there will be. That is going to be our, our underbase. Basically, that is the first thing printed, right? And that will give us our texture to the mountains and the trees. And then after that, you're going to print the color. And then lastly, you're going to come back and you're going to print this area down here, which looks pretty solid. That's actually going to be a clear varnish, and it's going to be set up to be a gloss. So it's going to look like water, and the reflection is going to be amazing. So that's what we've done. As you can see, there's all of our colors and all put together. Now I am showing it in black and white. But because when we do it, it tries to do a composite if I were to turn it the other way. Let's go ahead and close that up. And you see right here, our job cost on this job is 85.88 cents, basically 86 cents worth of ink. This is for a 12 by 9 image. Pretty good size image. Now it is on a white canvas, so there's no white underbase other than the textures of the white underbase. And we're simply going to click and print the job from here. Go over and check out what it's doing. All right, so we've sent over an outline here to the bed that we're going to work from. It's black printed on black, but you can see it against the sun. And I've actually bled it just a hair over. This is a 12 by 9 canvas, all right? And we printed this 12.1 by like 9.1. So we're going to go ahead and line this right in here, inside of the outlines. Perfect. This way it'll bleed over fully, all right? Got that in position there. And go ahead and close this up and hit the set media. It's actually going to take it back. It's going to set the height just where we need it to be at. As you can see back here towards the back, there's actually a little laser that you may be able to see. It's hard to see through the yellow screen, but you, there you go. You see it's, it's found the material and it's dropping it down. It's going to scan that material as it goes through and set our print height. Now, this is just going to be one pass through the machine. So the printhead is going to actually split into three sections. First section is going to be the leading section. It's going to be putting down the white, which is our texture layer, which will be the underbase, which is going to give us the, the highs and lows of the mountains and the, the trees and whatnot. The second layer is going to be, the second third of the head is going to be the color layer. So it's going to be all the color graphics that are in the design. And then the last third of the head is actually going to be that gloss clear, which is going to give us that reflection that you saw on the, the, the lake when we showed you the, de the design previously. Ready? All right, there we go. It's finished. I can't wait to take a look at this. There you go. Wow. See, I did a little bit of a bleed over the edges. Make sure we cut the whole thing. Pick that up. All right, there you go. I believe we said about 86 cents worth of ink on this, 9 by 12. So it's about three quarters of a square foot worth of printing for 90 cents. There's a lot of gloss down here as well. That's where a lot of your ink cost is in this. What a way, an amazing way to use the gloss uh, as a, I mean, use the varnish and a gloss mode to give you just an amazing finish. You could use this to highlight 
you know, if you're doing something that maybe highlight a part of a metallic piece on something like a motorcycle or something like that, or maybe even to highlight like a website or a phone number on, on some, something you're doing for signage or something for somebody. But uh, that's just another cool thing about these expert jets. They have the ability, and we didn't do it in here. You actually have the ability to have this gloss, and in another place in the exact same print, we could have a matte finish as well to the clear and uh, just get all kinds of crazy effects without having to change up because we can control the lights individually in here as well. I have six different areas we can control the lights in. So uh, here we are printing some really cool canvases with some special effects with the spot varnish on the Expert Jet 661UF.